So you hear us talking about tropical storms. You may be wondering, oh no, not again, but that is not the case. You know, some people have been worried tonight about, you know, what's going on. How is it going to affect their weekend plans? On your side is Robert Bradfield. He spoke with some St. Augustine business owners who are just now seeing a rebound from Hurricane Dorian. There is room at the St. Francis Inn in St. Augustine. Owner Joe Finnegan says the success of his bed and breakfast depends on the weather, and Hurricane Dorian was not a welcome visitor. We had a good eight or nine days when we were uh, without very many tourists here in St. Augustine. He's been keeping his eye on the latest tropical outlook, and thankfully, he says he's staying open for business. He was closed for a week for Dorian, which meant his 19 bedrooms were empty. We are heavily dependent on Floridians. So when the whole state looked like it might have the hurricane experience of Dorian, people started canceling way before the initial forecast showed it landing here. He says foot and vehicle traffic remains slow in downtown St. Augustine, hoping the nightlife picks up soon, considering tourism is the major economic engine for the city. Finnegan is breathing a sigh of relief this weekend's weather cooperates so he can recoup some of his losses from last week. A lot of people spent a lot of time and money in Florida preparing for Dorian. Some want to travel this weekend, but some don't want to travel this weekend. Another sigh or sign of relief, a conference call between the state's emergency operations center and county emergency management agencies was canceled for this weekend. In St. Augustine, Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side.